Sharing things using iOS uses a standard, powerful component that other apps can plug into. As a result, it should be your first port of call when adding sharing to an app. This component is called UI Activity View Controller. You tell it what kind of data you want to share, and it figures out how best to share it. As we're working with images, UI Activity View Controller will automatically give us functionality to share by iMessage, by email, by Twitter and Facebook, as well as save an image to the photo library, assign it to a contact, printing it via AirPrint, and more. Best of all, it takes just a handful of lines of code to make it all work. But before we touch UI Activity View Controller, we first need to give users a way of triggering sharing. And the way we're going to use is to add a bar button item. Now, Project 1, if you recall, had a storyboard with a UI navigation controller inside, giving us this gray bar across the top. As developers, we can add buttons to this navigation bar that call our methods. Let's create one of those buttons now. So I'll open Detail View Controller, then go into View to Load, and I'll add a line break below Large Title Display Mode and write this code. Navigation item dot write bar button item equals a new UI bar button item. And there are a number of different code completion options for this. But we're going to choose the first one, bar button system item, and press enter. I'll use dot action for the first parameter. For target, I'll say self. And for the action, I'll write hash, hashtag or pound, selector, share, tapped. Now, we'll get an error for that, but that's okay. It's expected. Stick with me. This is split into two parts. First, we have this part here, navigation item dot right bar button item. That assigns to the right bar button item of our view controller's navigation item, which is used by navigation bar so it can show relevant information. In this case, we're setting the right bar button item, which is a button that appears on the right of the navigation bar when this view controller is visible. After that, we create a new UI bar button item, giving it three parameters. The system item, the target, and the action. The system item we're specifying is dot action. This is a system icon which was a little box with an arrow coming out of it, showing users they can do something when this thing is tapped. The target and action parameters go hand in hand because combined they tell the UI bar button item what method should be called. The action parameter is saying when you're tapped, please call a method called share tapped. And the target parameter says where that share tapped method will exist. We're saying the current view controller, self. Now this part here, hash selector, bears more explaining because it's new and unusual syntax. What it does is tell the Swift compiler that a method called share tapped will exist and should be triggered when the button is tapped. Swift will check this for you. This method share tapped has not been created yet, so it's refusing to build but it also works great if it had share tapped and made a typo said like uh, share taped. We have not made a share tape method yet, so this code will still not work. And of course in the future, if we had share tapped but not share taped, it will error. So it protects us from having mistakes in our code. Now, if you don't like the look of the various system bar button items available to you, you can create one with your own title or image instead. However, where possible, it's generally preferred to use system items because users already know what they do. With that bar button created, it's time to write our share tapped method. So I'll put this back to being share tapped, like that. Now this thing is remarkably easy to do. I'm gonna scroll down to find some space below, view will disappear. And I'll say, func share tapped, let vc equals, a UI activity view controller with activity items being an empty array and application activities being another empty array. Then we'll write VC dot popover presentation controller question mark dot bar button item equals navigation item dot write bar button item. And then present 
VC animated true. And although that code a good start, it still has some problems. If we scroll up again, you'll see a still a big error around our calling share tapped, even though it's called share tapped here and called share tapped down here. And if you scroll up, you'll see what it is. I'll press here. You'll see argument of hash selector refers to instance method share tapped that is not exposed to Objective C. At add obj C to expose this instance method to Objective C. Now we looked at the at obj C keyword previously, just briefly, and I said it'd be important later on, but Xcode would tell you when it's required. And here is a good example of that. We are using UI bar button item, which is part of the under layer of UI kit, which is all written in Objective C. And Swift's compiled in such a way that by default, Objective-C cannot see its method calls. So this thing from Objective-C is trying to read our Swift method, share tapped, and can't. It's not visible to Objective-C. To fix that, we have to add one important compiler attribute, which is at obj-c, which means tell Swift for this one method, please compile it for Swift use, but also make it visible, i.e. usable to Objective-C code like UI bar button item. And whenever you see this target action system in UI kit, that always means you've got to have at obj C in your method names. So the error has gone away now, but this code still isn't quite finished. You see, this line of code here is saying what to share when share tapped is called. And that's passed in using this array of stuff here, an empty array, share nothing at all. That's not good enough. We got to share some actual data here. We want to share the image the user chose. Now, if you look, if I type uh, image view dot image, you'll see it's an optional UI image. There might be an image, there might not be an image. Now, of course, we know there is one, but there's no reason not to play it safe here. So we'll scrap that code and replace it with some guard code that gets the image from the image view, pulls out its JPEG data, actual share or image data, and passes that to the sharing system. We'll say guard let image equals image view dot image question mark dot JPEG data with a compression quality, how high quality to make this, where one is maximum quality and zero is minimum, I'll do 0 0.8. If that fails, if we can't get the image, we'll say else print no image found and then return. If that succeeds, then our sharing code will run down here. I'm going to pass that image into our activity items array, like this. Activity items array of our image. In case you're wondering, when you use at IB action to make storyboards call your code, that automatically implies at obj C. Swift knows that no IB action makes sense unless it can be called by Objective-C code. So now this code's complete, let's break down how it actually works. This line of code here, 44, is what creates our UI activity view controller, saying, here's the thing I want to share, our image. We can also provide in application activities to show alongside the system options. This next line is an important one, without it your code will crash on iPad. On iPad, UI activity view controller must be shown from somewhere on the screen, has an arrow pointing to whatever triggered it to be shown. And this is referred to as its popover presentation controller. Which thing made this thing appear on the screen? And what we're saying is this thing was shown from a bar button item and telling it it's our right bar button item. On an iPad, this will be shown attached to the bar button item so users can see where it came from and tap away to dismiss it. And finally, we call present to show our finished UI activity view controller ready to go on the screen. At this point, our code is done. So go ahead and press Command R or click the play icon to compile the code, build the code, uh, launch a simulator and try it out. So here's our finished Storm Viewer application. I can go ahead and tap one of these pictures, show it here. And there is the action icon, the box with an arrow coming out. When I tap on that one, we'll see hopefully a share sheet appear. And these are the options we have to work with. We can scroll through and tap whichever one we care about. 
I am running in the simulator here, so you won't see Twitter or Facebook or other social media, but on your devices you'll see them all listed here, ready to accept that picture for sharing. But there is one small and important bug with the current code. Uh, this option over here, Save Image, that thing tries to save the image inside the user's photo library. But if you press that, we'll see a problem. Boom. We're thrown back into Xcode with lots of sort of assembly gibberish here. But there is an important message in the error log down here. You can see this app has crashed because it attempted to access privacy sensitive data without a usage description. So it's telling us just below that the app's info.plist must contain an NS photo library add usage description with a string value explaining to the user how the app uses this data. What's happening here is that our app is trying to access the user's photo library so it can write the image there. But that's not allowed on iOS unless the user grants permission first. To fix this, we need to edit the info plist file for our project. We haven't touched this yet, but it's designed to hold configuration settings for your app that won't change over time. So I'll go back to the project navigator and choose info.plist. Here are all the default options. I'd like to right click in the space below and choose add row. You'll see lots of possible options in there. I'm going to scroll down and look for privacy. Okay, here we can see photo library addition. That is short for privacy photo library additions usage description. I'll choose that now. And in this box, we want to explain to users how we plan to use their pictures, why we want to save things to their library. So I will double click in there and say, we need to save photos you like. Now I'll we'll try running the app again. And this time, that setting will be used by iOS when we try and save a picture to our library. If I choose a picture now, then go to the action button and choose save image. We'll see our message appear here on the screen. We need to save photos you like. And now I can tap OK. And that will write to the user's photo library. To show this off, I'll go to the hardware menu and choose home. Then find the photos app. All being well inside there, uh, we will see today we save this nice picture of a storm.